Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rough Hiker Outdoors, and today I'm going to give you my review on the To-Go Systems Shift Hybrid. I recently spent four nights in this thing, and uh, I have a pretty good handle uh, on what it can and can't do, so stick around. Alright guys, so if you're like me, you've always had this question burning in you. Can I wear my sleeping bag like a jacket? And the answer is yes, you can. Uh, so let's just go through some of the features on this. This is actually a pretty cool piece of gear. Um, this is, well, first off, most basic form, it's a sleeping bag that's under two pounds. It's 800 fill down, uh, goose down with a reflective layer. So it is going to be heavier than your average um, goose down uh, of this rating, but it has the reflective layer like most of the other stuff that's incorporated into to-go systems, kind of what made them uh, big and uh, what kind of sets them apart from a lot of the other people. So even if this goose down gets totally wet and soaked, you still have that reflective layer, so it will still provide uh, some heat, not obviously it's full insulation, but uh, it will provide some warmth in wetness, which is kind of neat. Um, so, this thing is is uh, really cool, and it actually packs down quite a bit smaller than this with the cinch straps. You can get it, uh, you know, like cantaloupe size. Uh, and like I said, I think it's about like 1.9 pounds or so. Um, but not only will this be a basic sleeping bag, it also has some zippered holes that you stick your arm through and some cinch cords, and the bottom can be opened up um, to where you can wear it as like a jacket. It'll fold over or you could wear it down to your knees or even down to your ankles on a cold morning. You can just pop your arms out of this thing and do some cooking, uh, which I did do, um, but I didn't get it on film. Sorry guys. Um, but it does work for that. The armholes are, are big enough and uh, I what I did is I pulled it up and just cinched the uh, lower strap and like kept it tight on my waist and uh, gave a lot of insulation. Obviously not on your arms because it kind of kind of comes to about here on me, um, but it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to roll in some, some footage of this thing as, uh, as I use it as an underquilt because that's uh, my main use for it. I don't really sleep on the ground hardly ever, so um, this would be mostly used as like a top quilt or an underquilt, and it can be used easily as both. Um, so let's just get some dimensions. As you, as you kind of see this thing, I'm going to show you some of the cinch straps and the suspension and all that. As I'm talking about that, I'm going to spit some, some numbers at you. Uh, so the top opening on this, the width when it's all zipped up, is just under 34 inches at the top. So it's not the widest thing when it's closed, all right? So if you're a really big person, this might be a little tight for you. Uh, down at the foot back, foot, foot, backs, foot box, it's 22 inches wide, and it has an overall length of just under 79 inches. That's the good news. Um, this thing is big enough for pretty much the tallest people. Uh, you know, six foot is 72. This thing's nearly 79. So I think even if you're 6'3", six, 6'4", six, you'll probably be okay with this, um, especially as an underquilt. As an underquilt, this is great because it's full length. I don't really go that much for the three-quarter length underquilts. I much prefer a full length, and this is definitely a full length. When I had it in the hammock, um, it covered right up to the back of my head and it went past my past my uh, heels a couple inches so I never felt uh, any drafting unless I wanted to um, because the coldest it got uh, while I was in this was 50 degrees um, and that's like the comfort rating on this thing um, so I ended up uncinching the foot and the head to let air pass through so I didn't overheat um, and it was very nice while I was in the 60s. Uh, I even had it open a little bit when it was down to 50 the one night, and it was still great. Um, the way this is rated, it has a comfort rating of 50, uh, a limit rating uh, of 25, and like an extreme of 10 degrees. Um, I think you could easily use this thing down into the 30s um, with minimal clothing. I was basically just in... Uh, my my boxers and I was um, you know I was definitely very hot in the beginning and it took you know till the the morning for it to cool down for me to be 
uh, cool enough. Uh, the one good thing is, is there was a pretty good breeze and I would get the breeze coming through. I set my stuff up so the breeze would come right through the center. Uh, it was like parallel with the ridge line. So I got some nice breeze on me because I knew it was going to be warm and I pitched my tarp very high uh, so that the breeze would get in there. Um, <clears throat> I just I just really like this thing. Um, it's reversible. Uh, so it's got a couple of colors. There's a bunch of different color combinations. Um, and for me, it was just, um, it had everything I wanted for an under quilt or a top quilt. Um, easy to close the bottom uh, and use it like that. The zipper, um, when you're using it as a sleeping bag, you can use the zipper right down the center, which I hate the side zipper. So having a front zipper was great for me. Um, you know, I really can't think of anything that I would, I would change about this. I really liked it kept me very warm. It was super easy to hang. Um, and like I said, I, I let the thing hang for um, like five days, four nights. Um, so, you know, that can make a lot of, that's like a lot of wear and tear on those shock cords. Um, just having it up day after day after day, especially in some of the heat that we were getting. Um, and sometimes like on lower quality stuff, the shock cord doesn't come back in all the way and you end up with like you know, three, four inches hanging out of each end because it's just stretched out and whipped. Um, even in like the some days we're over 90 degrees beating down on this thing, um, hanging up all day, all night. Um, I had no issues with the shock cord. Um, it, it, it just, the thing worked great. It's wide enough to where it comes way up on both sides. Um, and uh, so you don't have to worry about any side drafts or cold shoulders or anything like that. It, it comes up far enough even on the narrow end. Um, I actually put it up with the narrow end uh, by my shoulders. Uh, really should have been the other way but it was still wide enough and it didn't make a difference. It was still more than able to wrap all the way underneath and cover both sides. So um, as an under quilt it's ridiculously easy to set up as uh, top quilt, again, super easy because of the way the zipper's set up and the way you can close the foot box. Um, and as obviously as a sleeping bag, it's, it's going to work fine and have a little more room than a mummy bag. doesn't have a hood uh, if that's something that's really important to you, but I don't feel it needs it. Um, and with this, this the um, stuff sack that comes with it is actually a, a um, excuse me, it's uh, actually a compression sack. And you can see here that without much effort, this thing shrinks down pretty small. I mean, I can't see you really need, you know, I, I carry really small packs and this thing was, uh, I, I set up my ultralight pack with all my gear and everything and this basically um, works really well. I switched a couple little things around and uh, as far as how I place them in there, and this works great, very, very happy with it. Um, I use this in conjunction for my top blanket. I used uh, my Kelty Bestie blanket, um, and if anything, the tops of my toes were cold at 50 degrees. They were a little bit chilly in the morning. Not enough to wake me up or anything, but when I woke up, I was like, oh, my toes are a little cold. Um, but that's where the blanket was, not where this was. The underside of me was toasty. So. Um, Anyway, guys, uh, this is kind of like typical for to-go systems. He made something pretty innovative, and he executed it well. Um, you know, I can't say as I've ever been disappointed with anything uh, that Brian has done. Um, very, very happy with this, and this is this is going to be with me for a long, long time. Um, this is going to be like my go-to, probably you know, late spring, summer. And early fall, um, and actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna test it in the late fall and even the winter, and see how it does with some of the colder temps. I was kind of hoping it would get a little colder at night, but uh, we've been going through this heat wave, so coldest it got was you know 50 overnight. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. God bless you guys as always, and I will catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed the review. So now that the review is over. Um, you know, I just wanted to uh, talk. I, I was at youth camp while I was using this thing, and youth camp is an awesome time. And uh, so I want to encourage you guys, um, if you have young people in your church or young people around you, 
be an encourager to them. Um, this, this is a hard time um, for young people to grow up and, and live for God and just grow up in general. And, uh, and, and they need people to encourage them, to help them, to tell them, um, you know, that, that they can do it. Um, you know, there's a lot of, like, a, there's a lot of false things that people try to build up their, their importance with. Uh, social media is one of them. They want to be YouTube famous or they want to be Instagram famous or they want to get their thing retweeted by somebody or, and, and they work so hard to give this false thing of themselves, but when you really get down to the core of kids, they needed what they've always needed. And it's not all this, this nonsense uh, about, you know, self-esteem and all this crap. They need to know that they're loved and they need to know that they have value. And they do that by knowing that you love them and by knowing that God loves them. Uh, and those are, those are the kids that are healthy and doing well. They don't have to know that they're the best and they don't have to get a participation trophy. They have to know that they're loved, you know, win, lose, or draw. So anyway, guys, um, encourage, encourage some young people, okay? Uh, if, if you're in a church, you know, volunteer, help them out. They need it. Uh, they don't need anyone that's perfect. They just need somebody that's going to be there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. God bless you. Go encourage some young people. This